Hello, you guys, and welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. I hope you guys are doing well today. Go ahead and get your mat set up, get your water, and today we are going to do a quicker paced, um, but not a high energy necessarily. We're going to do our session in about 20 to 25 minutes. That's the goal. So instead of coming down to the floor like we typically do, we're actually gonna start at the top of your mat. So I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds for a few more people to jump on, and then we will begin. I hope you guys are truly doing well um, and are taking ownership of your day, of your body, of your entire life, and being truly good humans. So with that, go ahead, get your water, take a big sip now, And then let's just jump right in. I want you to come to the front of your mat. Bring both of your feet in nice and tight together. Big toes touching, heels touching. Bring your hands at your side. Flex through your fingers. Look forward. Pull your chin back in space. And make sure that tailbone is tucking under. Think, here's my booty pop. Here's my tuck it under ugly butt I'm sure you have heard. AKA, we're coming into some good alignment right here. Focusing on our breath. Hoping, not hoping, helping <laughs> fix our posture, right? And we just stay here for a couple moments. Just breathe. You can close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Inhaling in. And out. And even here in this posture, just releasing any of that tension that you're feeling. Standing up nice and tall, hands at your side, just breathe. Feel the weight of your body pressing into your feet, grounding yourself into your mat. Take one more big breath here. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Give me a big stretch here. And exhale, release your hands down to your side. Inhale, sweep them up. Go ahead and take that left hand to your right wrist and lean over to the left side here. Spiral your chest towards the sky. Pull that top pinky towards the back wall. Focus on your breath, inhaling in and out. See if you can go a little deeper in that stretch, but no straining, listen to your body. Inhale, and as you exhale, come all the way back up. Arms nice and tall, and we'll switch hands. Lean to the right this time. Turn your chest towards the ceiling. Look under that bicep. Really pull your thighs in towards the center line. Focus on your breath. Inhale, and exhale. One more. In, and exhale all the way up. Big stretch. With your next breath, bring your palms together, release them down to your heart. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and step your feet just slightly wider. And with your next inhale, bend your knees, drop your hands down. Give me a big circle as we come all the way back up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, forward fold. Send your hips to the back wall. Release your hands down towards the mat. Release that upper body over your lower body. Get a nice big bend in your knees here and just tuck your chin into your chest. Allow your body to lengthen. And it's okay if your arms don't come to the ground or if you can't even release yourself as much as I am. That comes with practice. Inhale, glide your hands up to your thighs, straighten through your legs, straighten through your upper body here like you're looking like the figure seven. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Bring your hands to your shins this time into our halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle as we stand all the way back up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting into plank. Bringing your wrists right underneath of your shoulders, 
pulling your belly button into your spine. We're gonna hold it here for three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Really use your abs as you push that air out. One more breath here, in. And as we exhale, you can drop down to your knees or you can stay in plank, keep your elbows in at your side, slowly lower all the way down. Uncurl your toes, inhale, press into your hands, lift your entire upper body away from the floor into our upward dog. And as we exhale, curl your toes under, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Turn your elbow creases to the wall in front of you and sink your chest towards your thighs. It's okay if you have a bend in your knees or if your heels are lifted here. Just focus on your arms, making sure we're getting our shoulders in the right places. And just breathe. Big inhale, big exhale. One more breath here, in and out. Go ahead and bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Come into our forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Tucking your chin into your chest, taking a moment here. You can take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Find a sway left and right. Allow that upper body to release. Notice where you're holding in that tension and just let it go. Come back to center, inhale into our halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees, big circle all the way back up, slight back bend at the top. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms, step one foot back and then the other and move through your vinyasa. This time, go ahead and take a child pose. Open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes into touch. Send your hips to your heel. Release your forehead all the way down to the mat. Go ahead and close your eyes and just focus on your breath. Inhaling in and out. Inhale and exhale. One more just like that. In. And out. And just let your breath come to a nice normal rhythm in and out through your nose. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog, pulling your knees underneath of your hips, wrists under your shoulders, curl your toes under, and then send your hips up to the sky. Pull your chest towards your thighs. Breathe. Go ahead and bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. We'll take a breath there. And if you just jumped on a little later than usual, you're like, holy cow, this is going quick. We're doing a quicker 20 to 25 minute yoga practice today. So you can get it done, get on with your day, have the energy that you need, and feel amazing. So with that, take a big inhale, lift those arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Move through your vinyasa, stepping that foot back, lowering through your chaturanga. And then again, send it up to downward facing dog. Focusing on your breath here. You can take a moment to pedal through your heels by dropping one heel and then the other. And then find your stillness for one breath. Inhale and exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle. Exhale, hands to your heart. We'll take a breath there. Inhaling in and out. Great job. Open your feet as wide as your mat. We're gonna go into one of our balancing poses. This is new to a lot of you. We're gonna try our eagle pose. So what I want you to do, make sure we're standing up nice and tall, pelvis tucked under like we've talked about, and then slow and control, put your weight into that left leg, shift your hips even slightly to the left, and control by lifting that right knee up towards your chest. Catch it with your hands, you can pull it in towards your chest for an extra little stretch here. Find something to focus your gaze on. Flex that right foot, and we're gonna slow and control, send it over to the outside of that left leg, and try to wrap it around your calf. I want you to sink your hips back just slightly. Again, we're going slow, we wanna find that balance, right? Bring your hands right at your heart. Take a breath here. And then with that exhale, I want you to wrap that right arm around your left arm, connecting fingertips to that left palm. Lift your chest, sink your hips back a little farther, and lift those elbows. Hold it here. Feel the weight really grounding into that left foot, and breathe. Really feel the back side of your ribs expanding with each breath. Inhale, exhale. One more, in and out. You can do it, one more breath, I believe in you. And exhale, slow and controlled, release your hands down to your side, uncurl that leg and send that right leg back behind you, coming onto the ball of that back foot. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, float them down to the mat. We're gonna lower on that back knee. Curl your toes under, I mean uncurl your toes. Go ahead and plant that right palm down. Inhale, open your left arm to the sky. You can always bring your arm down to your hip here. Pull that shoulder blade back. Focus on your breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here. And as we exhale, we're gonna plant that left palm outside of the left leg and open up through that right arm this time. Shift your hips forward, keeping the pressure out of that back knee. And exhale, release it down. Curl your back toes under, lift that knee off the mat, step the right foot up to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Plant your palms and move through your vinyasa. And this time, you can take a child's pose. You've earned it. Release your forehead all the way down. Close your eyes. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. And with your next breath, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. And take two breaths here. You can play around with the movements, maybe of your heels or shifting your hips left and right. Find what feels good in your body. One more breath here. In and out. Bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front. Inhale into your lengthen, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, release your hands to your heart. Take a breath here. Inhaling in, and out. Great, we're gonna try that eagle pose on the opposite side. So. 
Put all of your weight into that right leg. Shift your hips slightly to the right side. Inhale, slow and controlled. Lift that left leg up. Flex through your toes here. Pull it in towards your chest. And then when you're ready, we're gonna sink it over to the right side, tucking that toe around your calf. Sink your hips back just slightly as you bring your hands up in prayer in front of your heart. When you're ready, this time we're going to interlace opposite way of your hand. So your left fingertips should be touching your right palm. And again, inhale, lift those elbows slightly higher. Feel that stretch around your shoulder blades. Inhale, really big breath, focus that breath at the back of your ribs. Inhaling in, and now I'm gonna stay here for three more breaths, you can do it. Just find something to hold your gaze. Two to go. Last one, inhale. As we exhale, release your arms down to your hips, uncurl that leg, step it back, and come up onto the ball of your foot. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up. Exhale, plant your palms all the way down. We're going to step that back foot even more. Go ahead and release that knee down. Uncurl your toes. Plant your left palm down. Inhale, open that right shoulder. Look up towards the sky and make sure you're shifting your weight forward, taking the pressure out of that left knee. Focus on your breath here, inhale, exhale. One more here, in, and as you exhale, we're gonna plant that right hand outside of your foot and then open that left arm all the way up to the sky. Inhaling in and out, one more breath here. Big smile, and exhale, release it down. Go ahead and curl your back toes under, come up off of that knee, step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant those palms, step your opposite foot back this time, and then the other, and then move through your vinyasa, ending in child's pose. And you can keep your knees in close to center if you'd like to open up through that low back even more, or you can open them as wide as the mat as we've practiced before. Release your forehead all the way down and either bring your hands right at your shoulders, or if your knees are into the center, you can pull your hands back by your feet, flipping your palms up, allowing your shoulders to release forward and just fully surrender here. Inhaling in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale, release. One more in. Out. Great. Just close your eyes if you haven't already. Let that breath come to a nice normal rhythm in and out through your nose. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, bring your hands underneath of your shoulders. Press your upper body away from the floor as we come and set our weight back into our heels. Sitting up nice and tall. Make sure we are looping those shoulders back and down your spine. If you have any too much pressure in your ankle here, you can always lift your body up slightly. Or if you have a pillow, you can set it under your ankles or in between your calf and your thigh. I'm going to take a breath here. Inhaling in. And now, 
Inhale, shift forward, curl your toes under and slow and controlled, send your body weight back into your heels. And again, too much pressure, just lift your hips up and out of it. We're already in our cool down phase, you guys. Oh, is the quickest 20 minutes ever. And now we get to just chill, stretch it out, and then move on with our day. And I hope you guys have a really exciting day planned. Take one more big inhale. And as we exhale, shift forward, send your legs to one side or the other, extending your legs out in front of you. Take a big inhale, sit up nice and tall, move the flesh of your buttocks out to the side so you can come down onto those sit bones. Take a big inhale, exhale, inhale, sweep those arms all the way up, look up. And as you exhale, forward fold over your lower half, catching wherever you can. If it's just your shins, super. If you can get to your ankles, even better. Someday, you'll be able to reach the bottoms of your feet. Just takes time, practice, and commitment. Go ahead and tuck your chin into your chest and just breathe. Inhale, roll all the way back up in that upper body. I want you to take your right foot, set it outside of your left knee. Bring that right hand back behind. Inhale, lift the right or your left hand to the sky. Exhale, twist and connect to the outside edge of that right knee. Look over your right shoulder here. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall, elongating through the spine, flexing through your left foot. Breathe. One more breath here, in, out, inhale, shift to the opposite side, planting both hands outside of the mat for a counter twist. Come back forward, and we'll switch sides, planting that left foot outside of your right leg this time. Bring that left hand back behind, fingers pointed away or at a slight angle. Inhale, lift your right arm to the sky, twist and connect, elbow to knee, look over that left shoulder. Flex through your foot, straighten through all of your fingers here. Smile. You earned it. You guys have worked hard. This is like the quickest 20 minute yoga and you guys did a lot of work. A lot of stability, breath work, opening up through your entire body. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, shift to the opposite side, counter twist. And then we'll lengthen all the way back up. Go ahead and plant the bottoms of your feet down onto the mat. Extend your arms out in front of you. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, slow and controlled, release your body all the way down to the floor. Don't flop. I'm watching you. Just kidding. You know I can't see you, but I can. <laughs> extend your legs. Extend your arms overhead. Get a big stretch here. Bring your hands back to your hips, pull your knees into your chest, give yourself a little tug. Lengthen through that spine, hold it in center, find a slight rock side to side. Just massaging that low back a little bit more. Come back to center, take a big inhale. And as we exhale, release the left leg down and then the right. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as the mat. Bring your hands down to the ground, palms open to the sky. And go ahead and close your eyes. You guys have made it into our final resting pose, Savasana. So this is our time to be still, be present, and just breathe, right? Focus on that inhale and exhale. And if you notice it's really hard to shut off your thoughts, I want you to count your breath. One on the inhale, Two on the exhale, three, four, and keep that going until you get to 10 and then start again.
with your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, bat your eyelashes, open and close. Or when you're ready, roll onto your side facing knee, use your arm as a pillow here. And we'll take a breath together. Inhaling in and out. With your next inhale, press yourself away from the floor and come into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, bring your hands into your lap, close your eyes, take a big inhale, and exhale. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart. Take a big inhale. And out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Be still. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, bow forward, sealing your practice. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that super quick get to it yoga today. today. <laughs> it's always a blast to kind of change it up and throw some new poses at you. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for those of you who joined live. If you're catching this later on YouTube, please subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you thought of this. How was Eagle Pose for you? Did you, did you shake a little bit? It's okay if you did because we stumble, maybe we fall, we get back up, we try it again. Ooh, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. So with that, be awesome, stay happy, stay healthy, get your water, have a fantastic day. Bye.